Hey, what's up? This is Christopher back with another video and today I have Affinity Photo. Now, this is just going to be like a brief overview and look at Affinity Photo. It's not going to be like a tutorial how to use it or anything like that. But what I want to say is Affinity Photo on the iPad is hands down the absolute best photo editing application on any mobile device. I don't care if it's iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows Phone. I don't care what device it is. There's nothing that competes with Affinity Photo. Now, Affinity Photo is $19.99. I'll have a link in the description. Now, when you first launch Affinity Photo, you're going to see something that looks similar to this. You're going to have like this interactive introduction. You're going to have a tutorials tab. And then you're going to have some sample images that you can download. You can also tap the gear icon located up here on the upper right. And this is going to be your preference pane. So you're going to have preferences for general interface color and tools now you can change all these and go through and look like change the language and whatnot I wanted to change the language so I'm in the US so I'll just pick United States English you get some interface options in here I'll tap this you can pause it and look if you want to read what is all included in these preference settings uh, color there's quite a few color options in here and you can pick and choose how you want to adjust these you know by tapping on them and then last but not least we have tools over here so you can look at some of the tools you can create text where they blend gamma etc uh, automatic uh, you know for your aspect constraint or whatever if you want to do it automatic always or never you know etc whatever you feel is best for your photo editing needs you do have a lot of options in here so I'm gonna go ahead and tap done down here on the bottom now you have help up here you can tap this question mark from the main menu and it's going to bring you to the affinity photo help and as you can see there are a lot of options in here and you can tap it and like layers and effects right here and then look at all the different options that it's going to tell you hey how do i add a gradient overlay so you can tap this and it's going to show you how to add a gradient overlay right here inside the app which is why i'm not doing a how-to video on affinity photo i'm just showing you what affinity photo includes which is quite a bit i mean this is every bit a professional photo editing application on your iPad. It's very similar to what you would find on a Mac or Windows or maybe even a Linux machine. And then last but not least, you could tap the plus mark here or here to start a new project. You could also tap on a previously open project right here if you want to delete it or rename it, or you could just tap on the actual photo to open that up and continue editing it. So for this particular demonstration, I'm just gonna show you up here, you could tap this plus symbol and then you're presented with the, all these options. You could do a new document, a new project, new stack. You're going to have import from cloud, import from photos. You could do a new panorama, import from a camera, new HDR merge, and new focus merge. Now, for import from camera, you're going to have to have a lightning to SD card reader, like an adapter or whatever. And then you put your SD card in there. Or I guess you could plug in your camera if it's powered. I don't know which adapter they use for that, but I know they have the Lightning to SD card adapters that do work with the iPad. So let's go ahead and back up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this clown photo here that is untitled. And I'm gonna show you what the user interface looks like. And there is a ton of stuff going on on both sides. You have a toolbar over here on the left, toolbar over here on the right. You got a menu bar up here on the top. So you're probably saying, what is all this? You know, if you're not a professional photo editor, you may not know it. These icons may not mean anything to you. So all you gotta do is tap and hold, or press and hold this question mark here on the lower right. And you're gonna get this overlay telling you exactly what everything is, what each button is and what each button does. Now, as an example, I can tap the view tool here and you'll notice that on the view tool, this little hand icon, it has this little gray arrow, but this selection tool does not. So let's tap that, or the move tool does not. But if I tap this, you'll notice that I get this popover and I can say I can rotate canvas tool or I can do the view tool. Now, some of the other ones, they have like the little pencil icon right here. I can tap that and that's the erase brush and the erase background and then the pen, pen tool, which I meant to tap the first time. You know, I can tap that and I have the paint brush, pixel brush, paint mixer brush, color repla replacement brush, etc. Let's tap this question mark again. Now let's go up here into commands, which is located up here on the top right. So I'm gonna click this and we're gonna open it up and you're gonna see you have another pop over here and it's gonna give you all these other options like duplicate, pasteboard. And you'll notice that some of these options have the arrow to the right of it and you can tap them and then another additional pop over 
opens up and it's going to present you with even more options to choose from. Let's go with projections right here. And you have all these different views in here. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to tap this um, question mark again down here at the bottom. And I'm going to tap the document icon, which is located right here. Let's tap this. Now, I can convert the document, resize it, export it, save a copy, print, flatten, canvas, uh, snapping, guides. I could tap the assistant right here and I have even more settings and options to choose from. Now, as you can see, Affinity Photo is feature packed. I don't think I've ever seen an iPad application that is as rich and is as close to a traditional desktop operating system that is feature packed on iOS as it is on like the Mac or Windows or whatever. I can't think of an application that I've ever seen that is this powerful on the iPad. Now, I just wanted to show you one other thing. Notice down here at the bottom, so I have the paintbrush tool selected. So you have other options down here, like for the width, I can press on width and then just drag up or down and then choose that width. The opacity, I can just slide left or right or up or down to adjust the opacity. Same with the flow, you know, I can just press and then slide my finger on it you know I have some other options I want to change the color I can tap that and then you have the color wheel you could also do the HSL sliders you do RGB sliders you come over here you have the CMYK sliders you have lab sliders gray sliders and then back to the color wheel and then I can just sit here and pick and choose where I want to adjust so let's say I want to go with something like this but I like this pink color right here maybe like right like so and I'm just gonna paint on here just to show you you know so I paint across here just like that booyah and you know there I've painted an X on my photo of course I wouldn't do that now what's cool is I want to remove it I just tap this little arrow right here undoes undoes if I want to redo it I tap the right face and arrow to redo it now right here I have my history I can go ahead and tap that and then you see I'm gonna get the whole revision history if I want to make it you know I can show you I can use this little slider right here you know i can pin it up there to the top whatever you just have so many options in affinity photo now if you have any questions or comments about affinity photo please leave that below in the comment section i'll do my best to answer it as i mentioned in the beginning of this video this really isn't a review it's just kind of like an overview and a look at affinity photo and what you're going to get inside this application um, if I were to sit here and show you every detail about this app, I'd be here for like an hour. Uh, we're not going to do tutorials because those are built into the application. So if you want to learn how to do something in it and you have the app, just open up the app and hit the help menu because it's going to do a much better job of explaining Affinity Photo than I can in a YouTube video. But anyway, this is Affinity Photo. Please give the video a thumbs up. As I mentioned, if you have questions or comments, leave that below. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace. <laughs>